Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is K Trinis back with another YouTube video. If you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you stick around so you can be part of the family and become my internet cousin. And if you are not new here, hey cuz today guys as you can see by the title of the video i will be doing a get ready with me life update first things first as you can see by my background i am not at my apartment um so before i start and get into my life update and the questions y'all gave me on instagram i first want to say that i know that we went apartment shopping and stuff and then in my vlog where i did summer days in my life i think it was i was talking about the apartment and talking about which one we wanted which one we liked which one everything so I'm not going to get into too much detail of course but plans has changed and I'm going to be moving back home with my mom and dad and save me my coin. Save me a couple coin. Yes, yes, save my coin. So this is going to be my new background for until we move back into our own space and our own apartment. Do y'all like it? It's my childhood room. Um... I'm not going to give y'all a room tour right now, but if y'all want one, put it in the comments. But I'm not giving it right now because my room is still in the process of, you know, shaking back. Because I haven't, like, actually lived here except for the weekends when we come home on the weekends for, like, a year now. So, this has been in my room. So, I just feel like it's a cute little background situation. And this is going to be my vanity desk. I just have a desk and a mirror right here, but it's not a real vanity, but it's going to be my vanity. You know what I'm saying, but... Yeah, so I'll be moving back home. We move out on, today is Sunday. We move out on Wednesday, which is July 31st. And I have some exciting things coming for you guys. New content, good content, consistent content, and more. With that being said, I'm also going to be doing a get ready with me. I'll be getting dressed and doing makeup and doing all those good things to go, go to an event that I have to go to. Um, I actually don't have a lot of time. But with all that being said, I'm also going to be doing a mukbang and eating while I answer some of the questions that you guys left for me. I'm going to be eating my plate lunch from the Beautypreneur Summit. Sterling Silver Spoon. I got the chicken, mac and cheese, and the green beans. I also have a small taste of cabbage that I got out of my mom's plate. And things like that. So this is how the plate looks. Got me a plate, my mama plate, and my dad a plate. We already tried it because I went drop it to them at my mom's store. We already tried it and it's so good. So I just reheated mine and then now I'm about to munch down. And y'all don't mind my lighting setup. I will have better lighting, but this is all I have. We, I haven't moved out of my apartment yet. So all of my things are not here yet. But yes, this is a macaroni. Very good. Green beans, I love green beans, y'all. I don't know why, but I love green beans. They really good, like. Love that. I haven't tried the cabbage, but my mom said it's really good. Mmm. I like that. Also, haven't tried the chicken. You did your big one, Miss Alex. Y'all book, y'all caterings, and everything with Sterling Silver Spoon, period. Before I get into the questions, I'm going to eat a little bit because I'm hungry. These are my drinks. Let's start with how life after college. Okay, I'm going to try to be very transparent, but I feel like life after college has been a little, I feel like it has been a little confusing. I feel like when you graduate without, like when you graduate college without knowing already what you want to do, after you graduate, it's just a bigger problem of not knowing what to do. Um, and I say it's confusing because while I have options, I don't know which option I want to go with. So I feel like 
I've been battling to try to figure out what it is exactly that I want to do. And I don't want to pick the wrong thing. I don't want to pick the wrong profession. I don't want to pick the wrong job and be like, I don't want to do this no more on the third day. And that's just going to look bad, you know. So I feel like I've been taking my time trying to process my thoughts and process my wants and process what I actually want to do with my degree. Um, but I feel like I've been enjoying my break from school. I've been enjoying my free time and just doing whatever I want throughout the day. Um, I've been enjoying focusing on my business and things like that um, without the academic stress. Um, and yeah, so life after graduation can be a bit confusing, but... Um, I feel like that's still okay because I'm young and I'm still trying to figure out my way. So I feel like um, in the beginning after I graduated, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to figure something out. Like you graduated, you have a degree, you need to figure something out along the lines of your degree now. And once I realized like I'm stressing myself out trying to figure out what it is that I want to do, I just left it alone and then I prayed about it, still praying about it to try to like praying for guidance that God leads me to the right thing. Like, I don't just want to jump into anything. Like, jump in to be a police officer. I jump into, you know, whatever it might be and feel like I'm picking the wrong thing. So, I'm taking it slow. I'm not rushing it. Um, I'm keeping God by my side so we can both figure out what it is that I want to do. Honestly. And not just to have something to do with my degree, you know? The next two questions are kind of the same. What's your plans now being that you graduated college and what's your plans now that you finished college? So like I said on the last question, my plans are still in the works. Um, if we're talking about my degree, but my plans as of now since I'm done with college is just to focus on my business until I feel like God tapped me on the shoulder and be like, this is the job for you like talking about my degree until he be like or he give me that sign or something like that and he be like this is the job that you're this is your purpose this is your job this is why you graduated from criminal justice or this is your path as in law school or going back to school or a job until i feel like god is giving me the signs to proceed on my degree um, I'm going to focus on my business and things like that um, and just live my young life, really. Because one thing about me, if you watch my vlogs before, one thing about me, I don't even really like a job. So for me to even want to get a job, it has to be a good job because I don't even like having a job. So I feel like I want to wait until I know what I want to do for sure and not just jump into any random job because I have a criminal justice degree. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't want to just jump into going and be a police officer and that's not even what I want to do, but I'm only doing it because I have the criminal justice degree. Like, I don't want to do that. I want to find something that I really want to do with my degree, whether it's getting a job right now somewhere, law school, or master program something along those lines but as of now i'm just living my life and taking pictures book a photo shoot period i need a little more what short-term and long-term goals do you have for your business some short-term goals that i have for my photography business if you are new here and you might not know i am a photographer in my hometown and things like that been doing it for six years so yeah um one of my short-term goals is to stop living in fear um i feel like i can be very simple when it comes to my photo shoots so something that's a short-term goal for me is like just venturing out and stepping outside of my comfort zone and stepping outside of that little box that i close myself in and trying new things like trying creative stuff trying to get better on like with editing um, really just, really, really just trying new things, because I feel like if you scroll on my page, it's really, like, simple photography, and I want to get out of that box, like, 
don't know I don't want to be stuck in a simple mindset like I want to be able to do some creative work I want to be able to challenge myself and you know do things like that so that's one of my short-term goals a long-term goal that I have for my business is retaining clientele to where and yeah this okay this is a good long-term goal just retaining my clients so I had a client came to me last year and she was pregnant and then she came to me again this year and she was pregnant again and the baby she was pregnant for at first was now in the photo shoot so I feel like a long-term goal for me is just to keep my my retention of my clients like retain my clients and keep them coming back for more and more and more and more like for every photo shoot of their life I want them to be able to come to me so I feel like that's a long-term rule because it takes long a long time for someone to come to you every year like for their birthday every year or for like maternity every year I feel like that's a long-term goal that I want to accomplish and see many of my clients go through that cycle where they just keep coming back to me for different occasions whether it's birthday maternity anything I need to eat I'm not even eating how do y'all even do a mukbang and talk I don't know I can't eat a for real cranberry juice so tart but it's good at the beginning and it gets sour sour The next question is my favorite things to do during my free time. Um, I think my favorite thing to do in my free time is definitely watching YouTube. I definitely watch a lot of YouTube. Like, it's crazy. I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, and I'm starting to like reading books. This is the book that I'm reading now. I'm not going to say that, that I like to just read any books in my free time. I really like to read books like that which are self-improvement books that is my first one but i just went and picked up another one actually like before i picked the food up and it's called the courage to be disliked and i read about it on tick well i watched about it on tiktok and it said it was a really good book so i picked that one up and that's what i'm gonna read next i'm almost done with the four agreements i'm on the fourth agreement and then they have like one more chapter after that but I really enjoy reading in my free time. I like to journal in my free time. If you watch my last vlog, then you see me go to the park and journal. And one thing about that, I'm so upset that I never found that place sooner. Like, I've been living out there for a year and I just found that little park with the crosses. That's so nice. I could have been going to sit out there and journal, but anyways nonetheless the next question is do you feel like college is a scam i feel like society has convinced us that college is a scam that's my first take and my second take is these days getting a job is hard okay we're gonna talk about both of them i feel like society has convinced us that college is a scam because it's so many way more it's so many more ways to make quick money out here and I feel like people go to college not only to get an, uh, an education but also to make more money in whatever they want to do whatever they want to do so I feel like society has showed us and put in our brains like you can make money from doing social media you can make money from literally posting on TikTok good money or YouTube and even Instagram Facebook um, you can have your own business. You don't have to go to college to have your own business like do nails hair I'm a photographer. I didn't go to college to be a photographer So I feel like in, on that part society has Showed us like you don't need to go to college. You know what I'm saying? The second take is um, And I'm I'm talking from my TikTok university mind. Okay, let's just say that but I've seen and watched and heard a lot about it being very hard for people to still get jobs and still look and still get employment after they have even received their degree because they said that like when you get your bachelor's that's like the new high school diploma everybody's getting a bachelor's so it's no competition in the work field so it's like you got all these people applying they all have a bachelor's degree and it's like it's hard to get on jobs because everybody got the same thing and then another thing was people 
jobs are wanting experience now so you can have the degree you can have the education you can have the credentials but if you don't have that experience then it's like you not even you're not even on the list of applic of people that they're looking at you know what i'm saying let me change this battery let me close up my plate i'm gonna save it for later but i'm gonna finish answering y'all questions right quick actually i'm not gonna finish answering y'all questions i'm gonna start getting ready let me get my stuff to start getting ready and then we can keep chatting okay i don't know where i left off at but i'm about to start a tab of makeup if you know you know a girl like me don't know how to do her makeup but i'm gonna start with my edges first and this light is actually horrible it's too bright i can't really see but these are my clothes and yeah so let's start doing the edges i don't know where i left off talking or what i was even talking about but um We gonna continue on the topic of the ex like having experience. So, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people on TikTok just complaining, not really complaining, but just like expressing that they have their bachelor's degree, they graduated from college, but when they go to find a job, everybody wants them to have experience, and it's like, where would you like me to get the experience? Like, I'm trying to find my first job in my field. Where do you want me to get the experience at? Like, do you want me to start off doing an internship? But, like, then I'll have to have a job on the side because internships don't normally pay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's really like a battle. So, I don't, I really, I don't think college is a scam because at the end of the day, you're furthering your education, okay? It's always good to have more knowledge on any topic. But it is expensive. Like, why is it that expensive? Why is it that expensive, actually? But I don't feel like it's a complete scam, okay? When we talking about having to find, having to have experience when we trying to get a first job after we graduate, I feel like that's very wrong because at the end of the, at the end of the day you know you're gonna have people applying that just graduated that actually don't have experience so it's just like where do you want these people to get experience at where like they don't want entry level employees at all so i just feel like that's wrong but who am I to tell a business what to want in an employee? I don't know. Ooh, I can't see without my glasses. I like my little vanity. I think it's cute. And y'all got a good little view. I really can't see if that's cute or not. But okay, let's do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna run and get my wrap out of my car so my edges could stay down. Cause if I don't, they're gonna be lit. Exactly, look at this part. It'll be lifted in five seconds. 
I be putting my wrap on. I really don't be taking it off until I get to where I need to be at. Cause my edges really know how to piss me off. Okay, the next question is, can you compare your content creator path from beginning versus now? I got these really, really short lashes because I'm wearing my glasses. I don't have my contacts right now, so these have to be short because I don't like when my lashes are rubbing against my glasses. But my content creator path, the beginning versus now, I would say now i am more consistent um i am more aware of what youtube can do for me in a sense um not to say that i'm doing it just for that because a part of me is doing youtube so my kids can look back and be like look what my mama was doing and stuff like that just look at my not childhood because i'm not a child but you know my early years and for me to go back and look in years and years and years when I'm old and gray and be like, oh, things like that. Um, but anyways, I'm more cons I'm way more consistent now. When I started YouTube, I really started my YouTube channel years, years and years ago. If you scroll down all the way through my videos, you will see I started YouTube years ago. I wasn't consistent. I always had a thought in my mind like I want to do YouTube I want to do YouTube but I wasn't consistent at all so I'm more consistent now um, I also say that I'm I feel more creative um just doing different things with the videos and I also feel like YouTube has put me on kind it has disciplined give me more discipline kind of in a sense because I have to get my videos out at a certain time, I have to film, I have to edit, like I have to do all these things, make the thumbnail and everything and I feel like doing all this by a timely manner is like, it, it makes me feel more disciplined, it makes me feel more on schedule, it makes me feel like I have something to wake up and do, you know? What else? Um, of course I have more subscribers than I had when I started, of course. Um, but now I just feel like I have to be consistent. I have to put my YouTube out there in order to get the traction that I want to get and things like that. So let's see what the other questions was. And it's actually 2.56. I have a video going up at 3. So I need to post in a little bit. But the last two questions are... When do you and your boyfriend plan on having a little one? I don't know. I don't know when the time is right, I guess. But I, I feel like you never know when the time is right for a baby. Well, some people know when the time is right to have a child, but I don't know. I really don't. Not right now, that's for sure. But I don't know whenever it happens, I guess. And the last question is, I honestly just want to know if you ever dance again. And funny story... I actually am about to be a dance teacher so but um yes I've been stopped dancing since my sophomore year of college after I had got off the dance team and I've never danced since then so so I'm really happy and excited about that it'll allow me to be it'll allow me to be more active and do what I like to do what I what I learned to love doing growing up I didn't learn to love it I love dance when I was young but I've loved dance since I was young so I feel like I will be happy doing something that I truly enjoy since I was a little little girl since I was two years old so and that that is all the questions that I'm gonna answer so again sorry for this terrible lighting but we got better days coming I honestly don't know how to put lashes on. I forgot. Oh my god, you see? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. 
Okay. So I got my lashes on. They don't look the best, but it's okay. I didn't feel like doing Well, I didn't have my glue to do clusters, but I got glue all on the top of my eyelids. I'm going to wipe it off with a Q-tip, but for now, we're going to do our everyday makeup look, but I don't wear makeup every day. But this is how I do my makeup. First of all, I don't touch my brows because I do not know how to do brows. This makeup bag is full of um, oils like this. Because I was packing up my stuff in my apartment and I just put all of it in here. Look at how much I have. <laughs> like, be so for real. But I love my body oils, they are the best. But I go in with my e.l.f. Concealer. I know y'all probably can't see it that good, but this is the shade Deep Cinnamon. And I'm just going to put some under my eye like that. I don't put a lot. Because another thing I don't know how to do is a full face of makeup. Oh my gosh. I do not know how to do that. I let it dry just a tad bit. Now I'm going to blend it. Doing my makeup makes me so anxious. Why is that? Like, all these little taps, it just make me feel away. I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, but it just makes me so anxious. I'm just like, oh my god. I'm going to go on with this beauty blender just to try to blend it just a little better. I really press it into my skin. I don't know if I should do some concealer on my nose. But y'all, I really just don't know how to do my makeup and it's so annoying. I know that I do not have the correct concealer. Or, I mean, is it concealer? Yeah. I actually, I'm going to try this one. I'm just going to try it. Where's the rest of my brushes? Which is actually supposed to be, um... foundation brush but okay it's adding something back I guess I'm gonna go in with a actually let me go this out on my nose where's that other brush let's see how it's gonna look That's too dark. Oh my nose, is it? I don't know, girl. I... Me and makeup don't go together. So I'ma just try to blend it at least a little bit more.
with this slightly lighter concealer just at the corner of my eyes i hope i don't miss when i got started oh hopefully not Go back in with this um, beauty blender and just blend that all together. Okay, yeah, I feel like it's coming out decent. I hope I really can't see. Um, I, I need my glasses for real, but I hope it's okay. Now we're going to go in with a powder. I use Morphe Banana Setting Powder. I think you're supposed to rub it on your hand so it's not too much. Hope I'm doing this right, y'all. If I'm not, just tell me. I'm open to all makeup critiques because I, I I don't know how to do no makeup. So help a girl out. Help a girl out. I also did forget to do my um blushy blush, but is it too late? I think it's too late. We'll do it after. I'm going to wipe this off. And then use this to just, I guess, press it in. I hope I don't look ashy. Let's see what, see what it looks like on the phone. <laughs> the flash I'm scared oh. oh it don't look that bad I just need to blend it at these creases right here because it's not giving right there but I'm gonna I'm be putting blush right there anyway so Period. Okay, so next, I'm gonna just go in with a little bit of this contour on my eye, on my eyelids. And then we are going to do the blush. Actually, should we do the blush right now? I don't know. We're gonna put some of this back where I put my contour. Actually, just going with this powder blush. Where is it? Okay, so this is how it looks. It's called I don't know. And I just dip, 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 brush it, and then. And 
dupe, 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 dupe. Smile. I do put some right here and right here. That's it. I think I want more though. I hope I'm not overdoing it because I really can't see. Okay. That should be good. Hope it looks good. Now we're just going to go on with this eyeliner under my eye. I really need to be leaving in the next 10 minutes, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I think I have mascara too for my bottom lashes. But I'm actually not too sure. It just adds a pop, I know, to the black eyeliner. It's hard to get off, but it adds that pop. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do my lip combo. I'm going to actually get dressed. I hope my makeup is good. Oh, I forgot I have to wear glasses. I want to make a reel of me getting ready, but I actually have nothing to put my phone up on. So, that's on today. Let's get ready with me. I did good on my makeup. ready i'm gonna show y'all the fit i hope it come out cute because i don't have time to pick none well i have two outfits so the first one is ugly then we're gonna go with the other one but i have this bodysuit and ooh, these shorts is white and my hands are full of makeup these white shorts they really cute like this I'm about to get dressed and I'll be right back. Now it's time for the jewelry. I put in my, I already put in my earrings. Ooh, this is perfect. I'm gonna wear this. Cause I'm doing gold. So. With this one. And then I actually don't think I have any gold necklaces. Oh, I do. I'll put this one on and then take this one off. Ow! I hate when braces pinch my arm hair. It hurt. This is my everyday necklace, so I'm leaving it right there because when I take this one off, best believe I'm going to be putting that one back on. So. Yeah, it's good. Girl, I'm going to be too cute. I'm bummed. And then I'm gonna find me a little anklet. It's gonna match with the necklace. And then I think that's it, cause I really need to be going. For real, for real. This won't even fit around my ankle. What am I thinking? I'm gonna put this one around my ankle. From an event me and my mom went to yesterday. It's so cute, and I really needed a bag to go with this outfit because I didn't have one. And I picked up this cute bag. It's Louis Vuitton. I don't know if it's real. I don't care, really. But, yeah, it's so cute. Oof. Can't be ashing. And the theme of the event is, like, Lion King nature colors, so... Browns, greens, those browns, greens, like yellows, I guess. I don't know. But I'm in my green. I hope my brow don't keep coming out. That's gonna embarrass me. Okay, so I put out. So I put on this vanilla lotion. Let's see what body scrub. We're gonna do Chanel number five. 
And then I have perfume in the car that's also like a sweet vanilla kind of deal. I just be putting this anywhere, y'all. I say put it on your ankles and the back of your knees. I don't know. Let's just do it. Okay. I can't forget my lip combo. So this is my lip combo, brown eyeliner, lip liner, whatever, and the pink NYX. So I can't go into details right now because I really have some bleeding. Oh, okay. Now you should just do like two layers of this. in my little purse because I really have to go so this is the final look sort of like it's still bad final look got these shoes on perfect okay that's it okay so that's it for this video guys thank y'all for getting dressed with me getting ready with me um listening to my answers to the questions that you guys asked me and everything else I love y'all so much don't forget to subscribe like this video and stick around so you can become my internet cousin thanks y'all love y'all bye